hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel today we are here at the nairobi cbd with an amazing guy called martin martin karibu yes. sana yes thank you can you please introduce yourself introduce myself all right um my name is martin um they call me martin the samis because i'm a recording artist i'm a producer um, i'm a songwriter and many other things i'm an elite cyclist i'm a pro pro uh, skater as well but uh, right here we're in the skate park so i'm here to talk about uh, skating so um yeah i'm a pro skater as well uh, okay skating it began um, around eight years ago and uh, how i started skating is um skating is something that is uh, you know it's something freestyle see kitu unafanya na pressure you understand yeah so um I used to travel travel a bit. So in a time maybe I'm not in my usual environment. I've been wondering ni sport gani naweza fanya that is you know that is cool that is ni exercise kitu ntajibamba. Na I, I wasn't siko na, na I wasn't interested sana in soccer I'm a, you know I wanted something different. So when I came back nikaona I passed here nikapata there is a skate park nini I got a bit interested. So nikasema I will start learning. So nikaanza kulani kidogo kidogo kuanguka nini then after a while nika nika focus my passion hapo na nika become better at what I'm doing until I became a pro skater so it has taken almost 8 uh, years no no, no ra it, rather it took it took a little while but I've been skating personally for 8 years uh, skating is uh, number one is a is a leisure kind of a sport like i said haina pressure ni kitu ya kujibamba something you go on the out uh, on the great outdoors una enjoy the weather enjoy the streets nini alafu ni kitu you can do with family so it also helps with uh, spending time with family na nini um, but uh, uzuri ya skating mostly is skating is like aerobics you understand it tones every part of your body it tones your muscle system na nini it helps with uh, your blood flow so it it has benefits it has uh, physical benefits at least uh, you know the same way when a gym you tone it it gives you strengthens your muscles na it tones stability na balance of course cause skating uh, gravi, gravity yani ile science ya skating ni a lot of balance you understand for swimming you have to learn to float for skating you have to learn to balance you get it so yeah it can have so many benefits which are yeah that that help it's a it's a nice lifestyle sport also na ni kujibamba pia skating like i said is a unique sport si kitu ya kila mtu not everybody is doing skating so um ni kitu is very catchy to the eye ukiangalia okay, unaona watu they are skating nini hata wewe unakuwa na ile tamaa like how do i start how do i do it so i think ni kitu imekuwa but ni kitu people have not given it ile enough attention of how they can build it or how they can grow it as a sport but right now it has started catching traction so most people are like interested in how do i get into skating is there a federation are there uh, events you can participate so it's beginning to grow most of the people who are in Nairobi want to converge here in the middle of the city so there were there wasn't really a nice space that mutu muneza to me for practice because eh zingine either wanje ko mbali kama kasarani is available but it's too far so um when uh, uh, former governor um sonko was in was uh, head of the county akasema we don't have a place where a central place in Nairobi where we can we can do our sports thing so I can't since skating you need a very smooth surface like you can see um lami uh, kwe smooth so that uh, you can able to you know do your skating thing so when he offered this place is a car park we couldn't get it 24 hours lakini uh, at least we get in on sundays so he he really helped us in terms of um um uh, improving the sport because they can only improve in something when you practice or when you have a place where you can you know you can use so uh, this is how we started using this park it's been here for the longest time uh, during the week it's a car park during the weekend uh, uh, and weekends it's a car park but uh, during public holidays and on sundays when i they leave it out for skating so this is like one of the places that is free you can if you love to skate and you have a pair of skates unaweza kuja and start practicing because they don't charge you for the space so this is the only place that we call skate park that's why they call it skate park yeah because it's in the middle of town 
Inasaidia sana because like I said skating is one of the sports I call a lifestyle sport. So ni kitu you get your mind off ni kitu it, it, it first it grows with time. Ni passion that grows. You understand? So instead of um, some you know how it is with young people anakuwa when they are bored or they don't have something to do is when now they start thinking of other things to do you understand but skating is one of those sports that it grows on you it's a passionate sport i love it's very catchy with a certain age group you understand so i think ni ni poor sana when it comes to those kind of um, age groups because it it occupies their mind and it is very ni trendy so ni kitu they'll be interested to learn and do because um any sport other than skating as long as you have something that is uh, you have focus on utakuwa na time ya ku focus on something on kwenda kuibia mtu ama nini so i think it, it, to some extent it has not done 100% but it may reduce to a certain fraction mm-hmm. so if um, sports in general it helps na your mentality ya uh, wanting to do crime wanting to do drugs because you have something passionate you are doing So I think those people that indulge in Neo need because they uh, they have a lot of time and nothing to do. So they end up choosing a wrong vice. But skating to to a large extent it also reduces stress. Okay, um as far as the government is concerned, there are many sports that uh, are in Kenya. So I think um if the government can give the same focus they give in athletics, they give in you know other sports um we grow isha that will be one of the major steps that helps the the sport to grow because basically like right now skating is like a self self uh, excuse me it's like a self sponsored sport hauna we don't have like government backing we don't have even if you're preparing for a race maybe it's a inter, uh, intercontinental race ama it's inter african race it becomes a bit challenging because utaanza kufikiria how will you pay for your ticket how will you pay for your entry into the race you know accommodation things like that so if the government can come and give it the same support they give athletics we can start having uh, more people participating in races outside the country we can start representing kenya in the same discipline it's just that we don't have that kind of support so if you get that kind of support why like legislation where this is also considered like any other sport like athletics it will make sense people will start engaging more um well um that's an interesting thing i don't think there is any sport that lack, lacks risk even cycling i'm also into cycling cycling also has risks mm. uh, you understand uh, uh swimming also has risk because be, be, by the time you learn floating you'll have utakuwa mm. umekunywa maji kidogo so i um the principal thing like i said the the principle of swimming is floating you have to learn the principle first the principle of skating is simply balance uh, that's why i also coach and i also teach people to answer from the age of as young as 3 years to adults mm. to in between what what you were primary secondary to adults i teach all those mm. so as long as you have somebody who's capable who's experienced in skating that can teach you the principle of skating there is skating then there is the principle of skating kuna balance how do you attain balance uh, you don't just wear skates and start moving you have to uh, balance it on a steps you start by holding your knees you start by taking steps pole pole uki graduate after that you start gliding pole pole as you're holding your knees mm. confidence ikiingia you start gra- gliding uki upright ikiingia kabisa now you can dash mm. so ni as long as you have somebody that uh, understands it somebody who who has uh, matured in the discipline of skating who can teach you uh, you learn very fast so allow, uh, of course when you're being taught kuna easy protective gears kuna knee, knee guards kuna uh, uh, elbows mm. kuna uh, palms ya mkono ndio just in case you fall so it's a, it's one of those very interesting sports that whether una fall or not you learn by falling and by you know So yeah it's a, it's a, it's a really something that you need to try. Oh my god. Okay, I've been skating for 8 years. So you can imagine I have people I'm training like every weekend. So I can't place a number because mm. ni wengi is very is very many. Um that is just training like in a park like this. Um also in the middle of um the week I have lessons in different schools. 
where I, I, I coach, uh, I have coaching classes for skating. So the list is endless. You, you can coach any, uh, within my home area. There, there, there are people I coach there where I have a, like a training schedule. Leo na coach Uyu for one hour, tomorrow na train that group. So, watu ni wengi, uh, and the passion is there. So, it's ile tu, um, if we can have a, like a place like this, a, a consistent place where watu wanajua, this is a, a park Skating where, park. that is through, and it's open throughout. Najua, it's limiting because here it's only Sunday. I love to do in the week, we have to find other spots to train. But I think the passion is there. I think the, uh, most people are very willing and uh, we can get it done. We train every day, so yeah. Okay, um, music is one of the main things I do. Um, skating is one of the things I do out of passion. Of course, music I'm doing out of passion, but it's more of a calling, so it's one of the main things. Skating I do as a exercise. I, I do as a, something when I get, need to get something out of my mind. Uh, cycling as well. So um, I have a schedule, like I said, during the week, I'm training certain days of the week. Weekends, I know, for example, if I'm not going to the studio, or I'm going to the studio in the afternoon, I cycle in the morning. Um, skating, probably, because um, we do it most of the Sundays, I have lessons on Sunday and during the week. So it's just, it's just a question of how you jipanga yourself, how you plan your time, Nanini, according to the other things you have to do. So it's just planning. How do I get gears? Okay. Um, other than skating, I'm also in the skating business. So I supply um, those guards, protective guards. I supply skates as well. And there are different places in town also that you can buy the same skates. For, um, for like a, a, a child or, you know, for the, between the ages of uh, three and probably six, the skates range between three, five and four thousand, thereabout. And then for the, the people that are, be, are above that age group or adults, the skates range between four, five and five thousand, five, five there, right? It depends on who you are, where you get them from. Mm. Um, that's number one. Number two, the accessories that come with the skates, you can get them in the same places. I also uh, supply them as well. So um, you can, uh, there are many places you can, you can Google on Facebook and, and check how many people are supplying skates or you can um, ask me as well. I can refer you to several people you can get skates. There's no criteria in sports. Sports is sports. It, it, it just depends on your level of passion. Um, but in skating, they are like in swimming, there are people that are better in swimming than others. It's because probably of passion, I'm a, they, are, they have the drive, the drive. to learn. So in, in skating, all, all you need is just an attitude to learn because skating is a bit tricky because of balance. Is, as you can see, I'm standing on skating shoes mm. and most people can't stand like this. So it, it needs, um, it just needs uh, your passion to learn, to want to learn. I love passion to not be fearful to trying new things. When you're, you're, you have that, uh, how do I call it? You have that uh, willingness to try, I mean it will work. So as long as you square now, woga woga nini nini, while what on a walker, they take longer to learn because you have to take them step by step. They have to overcome their fear, blah, blah, blah. But that's basically, there is no criteria. Anybody can do it as long as you have a passion to learn. Yeah, it's just it. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, I mean, I mean the, I'm doing the skating business. We, we work with corporates uh, uh, as well when they are doing activations or they are launching a product or they are... Um, uh, introducing maybe a new branch to the market. Uh, as skaters, the easiest way to pass posters is by skating, because you can, you know, you can you can skate in between the traffic. You know, you can skate in between town. So it's it's really an effective way to uh, do marketing for um, companies that are doing product launches and activation and things like that. So that's an opportunity as well. Um, number two, the training as itself is an opportunity. You understand for. For it's like a skating school. It's only that you don't have like a physical place. So that by itself is an opportunity. And thirdly, you you meet people that you can interact in other spheres of life. For example, they are, they can offer you some different type of business. As in, it, it gives you a network. It inter, it opens you up to different type of people doing different type of business. So yeah.
Like I said before, uh, skating is one of those lifestyle sports. So, um, it's ni, ni something that is meant to be enjoyed. Now, the, I can only recommend a professional to skate on the road because there are certain, you know, you're not the only road user. There's, uh, there are motorists, there are cyclists, there are uh, motorcyclists as well. So, um, when it comes to skating on the road, there are demarcated uh, um, sections of the road like on the side roads, I'm a service lanes, that I would recommend people who are not very conversant and uh, confident in skating can, can skate in a different part of the road because I wouldn't recommend uh, to skate on the main road. But, uh, however, having said that, um, as pro skaters, for example, most of us use skating as a means of transport as well. So um, there's... there's uh, uh, when you uh, you need to go to to work, you skate to work. When you need to go home, you go home. You understand. So um, we do our best to uh, uh, to use the not use to emphasize or to to be part of the people that uh, apply traffic rules as well. We keep left. We don't um, you know we use hand signals when you're you know with motorists and stuff like that. So um, ikibidi. We just use the road as well, but we, we try and keep left and try to avoid areas with traffic. So um, for learners, I would not recommend you get to the main roads, but uh, there are many um, demarcated places where people can skate, where, it's not, where there are no cars. So I would recommend for people that are not very conversant with skating to just use the safety areas, safety zones to skate. But uh, when somebody is a pro skater, at least you know you can limit your your you can limit your risks depending on with your environment. Yeah. So basically, um, for parents that are interested in getting their kids skating, it's a very it's a very good sport for child development as well because skating is a um, is a community kind of sport. You don't just skate alone. It, it works best in an environment like this, when there are more people. Uh, the kid gets to interact with other children. She, the kid gets to learn a skill. The kid gets to skate with other kids and, and share a common passion. So for parents, I would really encourage um, um, them to get their kids into skating, especially if they see they have a passion or a liking for skating. They should uh, at least give the, the, the child that opportunity to learn. Yeah, to learn so that uh, the, the child can, can it's, it's a form of education as well. Sports is a form of education because the child learns more things when he, the, they are skating with uh, children of her or his age group. So, so I think it's, uh, it's something that helps the child de develop, learn things faster, uh, learn to work as a team. So I think uh, in my, my advice to parents is it really works in, term, in good child development as well. Um, for kids, I'm, I make a different schedule for different children, depending on their availability, depending on the area they live, and uh, depending on how often they want the classes. So, for example, um, if I have a child in uh, Upper Hill, and the parent wants the child to be really conversant in skating and have a skill, I'll add the classes. You understand but if it's just for leisure and for learning i'll put minimal classes maybe twice or thrice a week but if the child really wants to like you know get it wants to take it as a as a serious discipline i'll have to give like at least five classes a week so that depends on an individual basis depends on a child to child basis and depends on the need of the parent you understand so um i i schedule them according to need according to need and availability time and the area our location they live in if um, it's a general kind of skating they can come to the park like here on a sunday where um, we just do regular lessons usually um, one lesson one lesson is about an hour an hour and a half and uh, for one lesson personally i charge a thousand shillings uh, it depends if we have more lessons, I can, we can negotiate with the parents. We can, you know, push the rates a bit more because we are, we are adding the lessons. But if it's just one-off, one-off, that one is a, is, a, is, a, is a thousand per lesson. Uh, basics is very fast. I think um, 
it will take just a few lessons, maybe two, three lessons for them to learn the basics. But now learning the basics and mastering the basics are two different things. Mm. So for example, I can teach you the basics of holding your knees, holding your knees when you're starting to skate. There's holding your knees, then there's the position of the shoe. It has to be on a V place because if you're straight like this and you don't have balance, the, the wheel will slide forward. You get and hands the fall. So this is the basics. They have to um, put their legs together, then put it in a V shape. Then they walk holding their knees like that. Get it? Like that. That's that's the that's the basic. So for a child to learn that basic and start applying that basic, it will take two, three, four lessons. Now the more they practice the the basics is is uh, is what determines how faster they will start learning the skill so the the basic at least i'll give them three to four lessons for the basics then now to add now a skill basic is just wearing your scale moving from your skates moving from here to point point a to point b that is basics but now for them to really learn this the the the, the art and the skill of skating they will take a little bit more time with more practice mm, um I had mentioned about uh, depends on the location. So um, if they need me to train them where they are, of course, if the, the, it depends on how near or how far it is, because I'll have to compensate the distance into the charge per rate. Mm. But um, the general rate is what I've mentioned, is a thousand per lesson. So um, if you're, Availab you're available or within your location there's a good skating ground I wouldn't mind coming there if the factor or if the distance is factored within the charge that is fine um, other people prefer coming in a public setting where they can be trained with other kids that is also fine so it depends with the with the parent and the child and the location so we can we can of course discuss in between the details of what works best and what will work for that training session um, the advice I think I'll give is first discover what you're good at then what you're good at will give you a direction of where to place your talent your passion and to push in that direction because most of the people is when you ask them uh, what do you want to do in life they have no clue because they have not identified that thing they are good at so um, everybody has a gift everybody has a talent but problem is, how do you bring it out? You understand? Some, some people talent is in skating. Some people talent is in cooking. Some people talent is in something else. So the first thing will be, first discover what you're good at. Then you'll have, you'll have the focus to push in that direction. I think that is the, that is the basic. So as, as far as you have passion on and you have a direction, it will be easier to make progress when you know where you're going. Yeah. Skating as a business is, um, of course, there are skating shoes, there are um, protective gears, and there is the lessons. So that's the major, the major sphere of the skating business. It's just the skating accessories, the skating boots, and the facilitation of the lessons. You understand? That's how we. That's how this skating business works. And other than those ones, there are those, um, those. Uh, small contracts we work with uh, like companies like i said when they need to market or they need distribution of their flyers they also contact skaters so uh, those are the business avenues for the skating business uh, basically yeah how can a parent who is interested yes. in their child learning this skill find you oh find me uh, okay um there are many ways to reach me um uh my number uh you can call me directly my number is uh, 0721 mm -hmm. 729929 mm -hmm. uh you can call me or you can um, um follow me on instagram instagram the name is martin the samist m-a-r-t-y-n uh, d-a space samist yeah, you'll find me on Instagram. You can um, send your request and say you're interested in skating and this, and I'll get back to you and we can organize a schedule. 
Okay. Yeah. If somebody wants to get the skate, they can just contact me. I can either forward them to somebody who sells or I can sell them to them directly. We have all those gears. We have skates, the protective gears and the helmets as well. So the only way to reach me is just um, either call the number or reach, reach out on um, in Instagram. Mm -hmm. and, uh, inbox me and I'll get back to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I'm in town, where can, how can I locate this place? All right. Okay, this place in town is called Sunken Park. It's in between, uh, it's next to what used to be Uchumi over there or uh, opposite KPLC building. Um, it's, a, it's usually a car park um, between Monday and Saturday. But on Sunday, they close it up for skating activities. So it's in the middle of town. Uh, it's called Sunken Park. It's, it's opposite the law courts, actually. It's uh, in the in the front side is the court, the back side is KPLC. So the, the the park is right there. You can't miss it. Okay. Can you please show us some gears? Okay. Um, Can you please show us some few gears which are available here at the moment? Yeah, sure, sure. There, there are gears in every corner of the place. So we'll, we'll just go around and i show you what we have here as gear. MTB.